I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Hello, blessings of the Lord be upon you and your house. This is the day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad and continually be glad in it. Hello, world. We send a shout of blessings to you and your house, wherever you are, not a sign of my voice. Thank God for another opportunity to bring you the word of God today, coming live from Faith Moments today. And um, it is my sincere prayer that uh, all is well with you and your house. I declare that in Jesus' name. Send a shout of blessings to you, Michael. I, I pray that all is well with you and your house. All right. Well, let's get to let's get to work. Um, for the sake of our time, please say hello to anybody and everybody who comes on board later of the session. Um, we are continual, continuing with our topic that we started this week concerning uh, looking at the events that has taken place uh, concerning the land or the state of Israel and uh, see where... Um, Israel comes to play in prophecy, in biblical or God's um, uh, word that he has put forth, all right? And so uh, please be a blessing to somebody by sharing the broadcast and um, tell them to be a blessing as well. Okay, um, last week, uh, no, not last week, oh, sorry, a couple of days ago we we ended up in trying to understand what prophecy is about. What is prophecy? I mean, you hear so many things going on and um, concerning this particular subject. Uh, we are looking again where the state of Israel plays a role in prophecy. Now, before you we, we go to the, the, where Israel is concerned specifically, we need to understand prophecy. And so we started uh, laying down the foundation uh, to bring us to the place of understanding where prophecy is all about. And um, we looked into scripture to help us to understand what has been spoken and what has taken place and what has repeated itself and what is to take place. I hope you understand that. Now, this is very important because um, if we don't do that, if we don't have a foundation of understanding what we are talking about here, then we will be all over the place and also be a, um, a candidate for uh, misunderstanding. We will be perfect candidates for misunderstanding. And when you receive a wrong information, beloved, there's no way you can... Uh, live correctly. When you receive wrong, you will believe wrong, and therefore you will be living wrongly. And so we try to lay the foundation or come to the place of understanding what prophecy is about and what where Israel comes to play in God's prophetic word. Now, we're going to continue with where we left off a couple of days ago with regards to understanding prophecy okay and we will continue this is a series that uh, we will come to where the the state of israel is concerned now there's so many stuff going on um in the circles of of uh, our christian understanding is this the beginning of the end of time is this the beginning you know of some are saying that um, is by the attack on Israel is the beginning of the end of time and um, we're going to see the end and all that. Beloved, nobody knows exactly when that total end is going to be. Jesus himself said that, that uh, no one knows except the Father. And so I, I don't want you to, you know, uh, be panicking and thinking that, well, the end has come. The end has not come. Are you listening to me? There are so many, I mean, there are a couple events, okay, 
histor I mean, historians or biblical historians um, as, uh, have given some events, okay, by their understanding of what may have to take place before the end comes. But I am sticking with what Jesus says, that no one knows exactly when the end is going to be. No one is only known to the Father. Not he, Jesus himself. Are you getting the revelation here? It's very, very important because if we don't do that, if we don't do that, we will then be panicking. How many times have we um, experienced some world events, you know, that got people panicking? I remember one was um, the, the y, Y2K um, year. Oh, the world is going to come to an end and then da, da, da. People were, people were, were, were selling their properties and giving, throwing their hands up in the air. Some, some were, I mean, all kinds of stuff. And here we are after many, many, many years, you know, down, down after that period. So no one knows the end. No one. So don't, don't, don't fall, you know, for that panicky kind of information that is circulating all over the place now. While that, you know, um, other nations are going to join in. America is now sending, you know, um, 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 support to Israel to fight Hamas. And um, uh, other nations are going to join Hamas. And it's going to be the Third World War. And this is the beginning of the end. Beloved, well... The fact of the matter is, nobody knows when the end is come. All right? Until then, just uh, be informed, okay? Listen to the news if you want to, to get information. Information produces knowledge. So when you have knowledge about, you have knowledge about something, it puts you in a better place of how to, you know, conduct yourself, live your life, and uh, try to accomplish you know, your goals and aspirations and dreams, you see. So let's go into continuing, continue to see what prophecy and this is all about. We ended a um, couple days ago by saying that the method of foretelling future events is through the use of parables or stories. You see, one of, the, of that is that understanding prophecy Okay, no, we, we, we said that uh, um, understanding prophecy, understanding prophecy um, through symbols, always remember to take the symbol literally. And even though the symbol is picturing something different than itself, some remembrance can be recognized between the symbol and the spiritual truth, okay, which is symbolized. So, we have, please, if you miss um, Monday's broadcast, make your way to the, our YouTube. It should be there, okay? And listen so that you can catch up with where we are taking off from here. Now, another method of, like I said, method of, of prophecy or, or for telling future events is through parables, is through the use of parables or stories. A perfect person. First of all, let me say this. All prophecies lead to Jesus Christ. I, it's, I want you to underline that and underline that and understand that. All prophecies. Now, it may be going this way, coming that way, leading here or taking that route or taking this exit or whatever, however you want to put it. All prophecies lead to Jesus. And we'll get there. And that's why I want you to follow in tow so that you can, you don't miss this. And in case for whatever reason you miss any of this few, um, you know, uh, this is the second uh, day or second time we are continuing from this subject. Please make your way to our YouTube channel and get the information, the preceding ones. Okay, so here as I'm saying that another method of foretelling future events is through the use of parables or stories. Now, the greatest prophet, the greatest prophet of all is Jesus himself. And Jesus used parables or stories uh, many times in the Gospels. 
Jesus used parables or stories, if you will, many times in the Gospels. And uh, we'll be sharing some few examples for your understanding. You need to understand the simple rule that will help, you know, to help you to understand the method of prophecy. Now, um, now that you are beginning to understand from where we left off last um, couple of days, um, let's look at a couple areas for your understanding about prophecy. And again, let me please, please repeat myself. The end has not come. Stop living your life in fear that the end has come. We, we just saw this um, pandemic pass, what, about a year or two years ago. And everybody thought, well, this is the end of it. Most people were, 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 were thinking and, and living like that. The end has come. The end is come, man, this is it. You start throwing the towel. You start giving up your properties. You start, oh, and here we are. Beloved, no one knows that. No one knows the day, the hour, the time. No one knows. This is why it's so important that you position yourself, okay, to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior. This is why it's so, so, so important. Because no one knows the day, the hour, the time, or whatever. No one. Here we are living in a time where you know, um, um, security experts are, are, are in awe of how, you know, this group of people were able to penetrate into the top security of another nation to go and destroy their properties and all that. Beloved, listen, um, <laughs> this world, it's a place of a mystery. Sometimes you wonder how this is, is it possible? How is this possible? How did it, this one come to pass? I mean, it's like, wow, we're able to penetrate through the top security and all that. Listen, this is why we are looking into prophecy. Prophecy is that which has been foretold and that which is to come. And it doesn't matter. You see, in the events when we, we, we were going through the pandemic, I mean, um, people with no understanding of even scripture, people who, pastors, pastors that you think they will even know what Jesus had said. If you go to the, um, 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 uh, the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter, Jesus said a lot of things over there. But yet these people were out there condemning and they're thinking it's demonic and somebody is, is a Satan that is brought these and that and that, that and that, 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 that and all of that fasting and praying and shouting and and condemning and rebuking and all that after that, all that. The pandemic was still looking at their face like, okay, you finish? You don't understand. You do not understand God. And what He what He's put in place. You just don't, you have to you just have to understand the sovereignty of God. Find out what 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 has He put in place. You know, Joyce. I'm telling you, always brings this to mind that Joyce one time says, God is, he's a, he's, he's a, he's a, his own script writer. He's, this is a movie, if you will. That's how she saw it. It's like a movie. And, uh, and uh, you know, written a script and, um, you know, chosen who plays what role in, in you know, it, it's like you, and, and he's sitting back and watching all that unfolding according to, his plan, his plan for the earth, his plan for his creation. So you need to come to that place of understanding and stop living in, in fear and panicking. The end has not come. The war, Jesus spoke about wars. Wars and even rumors of wars. I mean, there's still, there's, there's still war going on between Russia and Ukraine. This is another another country that has declared war to another group of of, uh, of people. Well, who knows? Tomorrow there's going to be another another war rising up somewhere and all that. Well, Jesus spoke about that. There will be wars and there will be rumors of wars. It doesn't mean that the end has come. You 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 need to understand this, so that you don't put your life into uh, you know a, a frenzy 
and, and panicky and, 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 you know, selling your things and, and giving up your, I mean, and all that. Okay. Now, the center of all prophecy, like I said, is Jesus Christ himself. The center of all prophecy. If you look at John uh, the Revelator, John chapter 9, uh, sorry, John the Revelator in, in Revelations chapter 19. Revelations chapter 19. I want you to come with me to Revelations chapter 19 and the 10th verse. Revelation chapter 19 and the 10th verse. The testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Please write it down. Write it down. Revelations chapter 19 and the 10th verse. Now, you will take a giant step towards understanding prophecy if you will remember that all prophecy points to Christ Jesus. All prophecies point to Christ Jesus. I also want you to look at each prophecy as a small, a little part of the whole puzzle. You see, prophecies, I mean, there, there's so much. But I want you to look at each prophecy as a little part of, you know, the whole grand puzzle. Now, look at, um, come with me to Second uh, Peter Second Peter chapter 1 and the 28th verse. Write these things down. I'm not going to be reading them. I want you to read it. All right. Second Peter chapter 20 and uh, so chapter Second Peter chapter 1 and the 20th verse. Verse 20. Uh, it says, let me read that to you. Knowing first that no prophecy of scripture is of any private interpretation. Okay. This means that a prophecy cannot be understood with reference to itself. But must be seen in light of the great prophetical plan of God, which has for man. I want you to please understand this. Let me read that. Look at Second Peter chapter 1, verse 20. It says, knowing this, first of all, you got to know this. That no prophecy of scripture is of any private interpretation. You know what that means? It means that prophecy cannot be understood with reference to itself. And uh, must be seen in light of a great, the great prophetical plan God has for man. Okay? You, uh, number two, to interpret prof prophecy literally... Scripture says this. This is what scripture says and this is what it means. It means what it says and it says what it means. <laughs> I hope you understand that. It means what it says. Now, the simplest way to put it is the, to, to, to understand this. That prophecy means what it says and it says what it means. So you need to help you, and I'm coming, oh boy, let me not go ahead of myself. You need to come to the place of knowing who the Holy Spirit is and ask him to give you understanding of things. Now, Jesus gave us that promise that the Holy Spirit, when he comes, he will guide us to all truth. This is the essential part of everybody and all people. You must know who this person is because he, Jesus says that he will even tell you things to come. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah. To interpret prophecy literally, the Bible says what it means and it means what it says. The simplest, clearest explanation of prophecy is the best explanation. You see, now, there's always the temptation, and please understand this. There's always, always, almost, why do I say always all the time? Because when I listen to some, I can tell that, you know, they've fallen into a slippery temptation, okay, to take, you know, um, the, the, the predetermined view, okay, of prophecy and, uh, and make it and, and take a, a verse of scripture or a passage of scripture to fit the view. Now that leads to a place of error. It leads to a place of error. And so we must take our ideas 
and uh, notions and our thoughts, um, you know, to fit into the pattern of prophecy. Now, if you want to understand prophecy, you must also know uh, the prophet. If you want to understand prophecy, because why do I say this? The the person who is bringing forth the word of God, okay, in line of prophecy, you must know that individual or that person. One, that person is not uh, some entity dropped from heaven. The person lives down on this earth here. I'm giving you some practical and way of understanding things. You must have an understanding of the time, the culture, the, the period, and, 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 and all that. It's very, very, listen, you may think this is, no, that the word of God, is, but the word of God is spoken by somebody through a person. That person has a culture. Uh, you got to know that, that individual. Very, very important because if you miss this, one of the reasons why I love to travel to the land of the state of Israel is because it allows me to also learn more about the culture and the period and the time and to understand the people. Yes. If you don't understand these things, beloved, and just take things literally as in, you could be, you know, um, um, taking some steps of error. So it's very, very important. I remember one time years ago, somebody asked this question. Well, the Jesus you are following, uh, he's a Jew. Are you a Jew? <laughs> Do you know their culture? These are some of the things that it's important. In, beloved, it is important. And so, number one, we must, you know, we must know, um, um, uh, you know, the, the individual, know the prophet. Okay, it's very, very, very uh, important here. If you want to understand prophecy, you must know the prophet. If you want to understand prophecy, you must know the prophet. It's very important. If you want to understand prophecy, you must understand the prophet. You must understand the prophet. Study his life, the people he knew, and his culture. Remember that even though God was speaking through prophet. Remember that he was expressing God's message with his own personality. If you understand that, that personality, you will understand his message. It's very important. It's very important. You can't throw that away. If you do that, you are cutting yourself short of getting a better picture of the, the, the message that is coming to you. Number two, you got to be consistent God has um, a logical, orderly mind. God has logical, orderly mind. Not one verse of scripture, okay, of God contradicts another. Not one. I've heard that also before, that the Bible is very contradictory. No, the Bible is not contradictory. Your inability to understand makes you a, a good candidate to ask the Holy Spirit to help you understand it. Only the Holy Spirit can help you to understand the mind of God. I, I, I believe I can take you to uh, second, um, second Corinthians chapter 2 and the 11 verse. Let, let's quickly look at that. Second Corinthians chapter 2 and the 11 verse. Come with me to second Corinthians chapter 2. Uh, I believe it's 2 Corinthians chapter 2. Let's look at that. <clears throat> no, 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Sorry, 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and um, the 11th verse. Look at it. It says, For what man knows the things of man except the spirit of man which is in him? Even so, no one knows the things of God except the spirit of God. No one. Now we have received not a spirit of the world, but a spirit who is from God, that we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God. Are you getting the revelation here? So you need the Holy Spirit to help you understand Scripture. And that's why I said earlier on, if you want to have an understanding, a better understanding of Scripture, 
you must rely and depend on the Holy Spirit. Because no one. Now, and so be consistent. God is logical, orderly mind. No one, not one verse in scripture contradicts the uh, uh, another. God's prophetic picture fits together like a beautiful puzzle. It does. Now, if you follow the keys consistently, the plan of God's puzzle um, will be understood or be revealed before your very eyes. If you understand that, say amen. Now, next, be prayerful. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about the religious ones, the religious style that you got to just, you know, all day. Listen, prayer is just communicating with your heavenly father. Prayer is talking to him. Have a relationship with him. Talk to him. Are you listening? You got to be talking to him all the time. Not, not, not you know, uh, get a, a specific time. Oh, this is the time I talk to, I talk to God. Well, what about he wants to talk to you at any time and you are not available? Is that a relationship? No. You have to be prayerful. Before um, Jesus left the earth, he told us that the Holy Spirit, like I said to you earlier, the Holy Spirit will be with us as our teacher. Okay? The Holy Spirit will be uh, with us as our teacher. Okay, look at John chapter 14. John chapter 14 and the 26th verse. John chapter 14 and the 26th verse. It says, By the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom, whom the Father will send in my name, okay, in my name, he will teach you all things. He will teach you all things, not some, all. And so your, your, your ability to um, relate to the Holy Spirit or have a relationship with him, helps you to understand the current events of prophecy. You, I hope you understand what I just said. Your, your relationship with the Holy Spirit will help you to understand because he will guide you and teach you all things. That's what Jesus says. He said he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I have said to you. In John chapter 14 and the 26 verse, the Holy Spirit, okay, the Holy Spirit understand God's prophetic plan. The Holy Spirit understand God's prophetical plan, whether for your own life, for the life of your state, your city, your nation, and all that. And so it's very, very important that you do understand that. Send a shout of, uh, to you, Opie. All right. Now, the Holy Spirit will reveal God's plan to you if you um, will ask him. If you will ask him, he will do that. So every time you pick up um, this prophetic um, or the Bible, I call it prophetic Bible, be sure to pray and ask the Holy Spirit to reveal his word to your heart and to your mind. Very, very, very important. I hope you understand what I just said. It's very, very important. Now, again, this few information that I've brought to you, I hope you will massage it and have a clear understanding of it. If you don't, first of all, understand prophecy, you will be all over the place. And um, I, I, I pray that I'm helping you not to live in a state of panic based on what is going on currently in the in the in the state of Israel. Okay? People are saying all manner of things. You know, other need this is the beginning of, you know, uh, a third world war. This is the beginning of the end and all that beloved no one knows the day, the hour, the time where all will come to an end. Jesus said that and I believe it. No one. And so it's very important that we get this and not allow ourselves to be positioned in the state of fear because fear will destroy every good and perfect ability of God in you. Don't live your life in fear. But very importantly and lastly, 
commit yourself. Commit yourself to the will of God. Commit yourself to the will of God. He created you. He knows why he created you. He knows his, the, the perfect plan that he has for you. And you can know if you ask him. Your relationship with Christ Jesus. Like I said, all prophecy leads to him. He is the greatest prophet, the prophet, greatest prophet. And so we must have these understandings. You see, in, 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 in some years past, my inability to understand these things made position me as a, a candidate for somebody to prophesize to me and uh, told me all kinds of stuff, which I believe. Boy, I'm telling you, I ended up drinking some crazy stuff that had it not been for, for God, for God looking at my ignorance and helping me, I would not be sitting here talking to you. Well, be dead. So all the things that, man, I, I, I took into my body, through my mouth and all those because of somebody telling me, you know, uh, you know it's a prophetic, it is this, they have received a prophetic word of the Lord, of God concerning me and all that. Man, I, you don't want to hear it. So it's very important that we understand these things because you see, our our enemy, okay, the enemy that you talk about, the enemy, and it, the enemy is your ignorance. Your the, if your ignorance is your enemy. Oh boy, one of these days we'll get there for me to tell, show you that the one that you think is your enemy is really not your enemy. The enemy is your own ignorance. And until you come out of that ignorance, you will stay in that state where you are easily candidate for deceiving and uh, deceptive um, uh, people. Okay? All right. I hope I don't want to load you with a lot of things because it's very important that you get um, what we are doing and not be confused. And so please, if you miss you know, the first segment um, on Monday, get back to, uh, get to the, uh, the YouTube channel, our YouTube channel, and then you can get that message and come to today's, all right? Because we're going to continue um, in a couple of days from now. It's very important that all that I said, remember, all prophecy leads to Jesus. And in Jesus, there's eternal life. And therefore, you want to position yourself to receive that eternal life. Only in Christ. Eternal life is not through anybody or through any, any, any means but Christ Jesus alone. So therefore, why don't you receive him as Lord and Savior in your heart and have that relationship with him so that henceforth you can live your life with a clear, clear conviction of having this life and life eternal. I want to pray with you. If you have not done so, receive Jesus into your heart and make that confession with your mouth. The Bible tells us in, in the book of Romans chapter 10, that with the heart one believes and with the mouth confession is made to salvation. Your salvation is so important. It's so, so, so important. Why? Because when you receive, God now sees you, not from that of the old, but that of the new. In Christ, in Christ is your righteousness. In Christ, you are righteous. Outside Christ, well. And so receive him if you have not done so now. And I want to pray with you. Can we do that? Let's do it together. Say, Lord Jesus, I, I thank you for this teaching. Forgive me of my sins. I thank you for paying the price of my sins. Now come into my heart. Be the Lord and Savior of my life. I commit myself to you from this very moment. And now baptize me with your spirit. May the Holy Spirit dwell and live in me. And to guide and teach me to all truth. I receive you now. And I thank you. Amen. Now, you got to continue to live with him, all right? You are complete in him. 
let me let me present to you that there's opportunity for you to receive the Bible if you don't have one the Word of God please reach out to us go to our YouTube I mean uh, YouTube channel you can see get this message uh, very importantly go to our website the address is www dot Patrick Quino Q U A I N O O Global Ministries dot org Patrick Quino Global Ministries dot org all right and request a copy of the Bible if you don't have one we'll send one to you free of charge mm -hmm. all right if you have it make sure you put in the correct address and information where you will receive it request one we'll send one to you free of charge now make sure that you are walking and not listening to here or listening to that don't get yourself confused stay in Christ stay with him mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit will guide you and teach you all things that was a promise of Christ Jesus and it is for you and for your household as it is for me and for my household and so I want you to know Joyce and I we love you very much and um, we look forward to seeing you very soon in the next couple of days we'll be coming back and continue from where we have left off as of Monday and today until then as always you don't have no trouble all you need is your faith in God and in all that getting get understanding I'll see you soon have a blessed one